Yeah, they must find him pit on the perimeter, as you said, across half-court range. Uh, he will look to pull up. An energizer for them on both ends of the floor. Sam Wardenberg has the lob to Rodney Miller, and he's been red hot. Miller, he's shooting 68% in his last six games. As Miller handles across the timeline. Wong in the lane, the freshman doing it effectively. Johnson on the baseline to Eric Hamilton, the transfer from UNC Greensboro. They're going to need his offense to increase throughout the rest of the year. And that's all set up by Xavier Johnson. Nine for 18, shooting his last two and a steal by Johnson. Nice pass to Champagny and the freshman on the angle from the block. By Trey McGowan's after the Vasilovic Mitch. McGowan's the deep three. And the putback is good by Adi's Tony. Miami coming out perhaps its most complete effort of the season, says Jim Laranega, when they beat Virginia Tech the other night by 10. And Wardenburg that stick back for the U. And That's a pretty clean look that time. Wide open foul line jumper, just a little short. Vasilovic, good pass to Miller for the slam. Falling in the early going. Yeah, that's twice now. Uh, you'll take that look if you're pit. Quick hands by Hamilton triggers the turnover. What a move by Johnson! Boy, that was special by Xavier Johnson. Averaging 66 points per game. That's 13th in the ACC. Shot clock down to four. Nice drive by Beverly. Good concentration. Beverly, the freshman from Detroit. Adi's Tony with range from the corner in the three-pointer. McGowan's trying to counter. Here comes Vasilovic. The floater is effective. And his freshman duo in the backcourt now with the injury to Chris Lights. Beverly gets rejected by Brown. And the drive to Tony. And the end one. Defense. And then they're off. Another nice pass. And then Trey McGowan's with the finish. Yeah, and it's been difficult for them just to practice. Again, the guys have been banged up all year, and obviously he's put together a patchwork, but this guy right here, when healthy, one of the better shooters in the ACC, beat it when that happens. McGowan's. Abdul Kareem Kulabali, the freshman in the post. Trey McGowan's again in the lane. Nice little up and under. It's been two possession game for the majority of the season for them as Johnson drives makes it a seven point Panthers lead and he's been injury plagued yeah, both teams really struggling from beyond the arc McGowan's will say you know what that struggle might be over <laughs> Miami basically has been daring them to shoot the ball from beyond the arc McGowan shooting 30 percent from three here's Isaiah Wong to Snap the Miami skid. Wardenberg. And Wong on the follow. Two straight threes for Isaiah Wong. Earlier this week, also a 19-point game against North Carolina on January 25th. Hadis Tony. Terrific position on the baseline. And he just continues to impress uh, with his play. He's already in double figures. He has 10. Miller, the putback slam. His last five games, 11 and a half points and eight rebounds. He has six. Champagny, the drop off to Tony. That's just too easy as Tony has 12. Champagny. How about that athleticism? Tough pass, but he gathered it and laid it in. Miami three and seven in conference. Isaiah Wong, who was their best offensive player in the first half for the U on the left. He's an Oklahoma transfer. Rodney Miller with the slam. Good start for the Hurricanes. To show off the hops. Gowans to Eric Hamilton. Up and under. Hamilton. Strong drive by Trey McGowan's. 
who had 18 and seven assists in the first meeting with Miami. Don't want guys getting into foul trouble. We already talked about the injury issues. They're shorthanded Miami, so nice move and change up by Jim Larinaga. He's learned, he's shed the weight as you mentioned earlier, and he's capitalized on some increased experience with McGowan's in the lane. Zasilovich from the elbow. Good pass to Wardenberg, to Miller. Oh, that was outstanding ball movement. Shooting 23% in the half. Vasilovich. Boy, that was great by DJ Vasilovich. And Miami grabs the lead. Jeff Capel. To hang around in this game and eventually take the one-point lead. Johnson, the back iron three. Champagny. It's been the story in the second half. They've had some open looks from three. And then opportunities like that. And there's your first three of the second half. And obviously growing to close to uh, seven feet. Not too many. I don't think there's too many seven-foot water polo players, but Trey McGowan uh, continues. He's been disturbed by that four and six number as Tony finishes. Tony has 15 points. Couldn't get the rebound, but tipped it out to his teammate. And the three is good by Harlan Beverly. What a great rebound by Rodney Miller. Here comes Beverly pushing it, and he lays it in, coast to coast, for Harlan Beverly, and a timeout for Jeff Capel. He'll bolster their cause in the front court next season, but for the time being, he's doing it with a lot of band-aids, but Brown with a good counterpunch after the timeout by Capel. Five to shoot for Pitt. Baseline McGowan's Tony. Clogging up the middle. Pressure. And Wong still scoops it up. And he's got it. Isaiah Wong. Tenacious. Good pass by Johnson to Champagne, but he got smothered. Here's Johnson, another three. And he's got it. So he's been held to nine points. Tony leading Pitt with 15. Here comes Johnson again. He's feeling it. And Xavier Johnson, their last five points. Miami busting pressure. Beverly. Oh, he attacks it just like Isaiah Wong. That freshman duo go to work, see if they can get into the paint. Down the three. Beverly and Tony with contact. Trying to navigate the Canes D. Johnson with a screen by Brown in the lane. Xavier Johnson. Depending on what McGowan's does from the free throw line. And their first trip to the line in the second half, he cashes in. Backcourt of Johnson and McGowan's 27 combined points. Miami taking too much time. Yep. Vasilovich from way downtown. Wow. And McGowan's has made his last three free throws. Also, how to close out and win games in uh, his backcourt. McGowan's and Johnson made plays uh, to put them on top. And 